Hey everyone, thanks for checking in. This is Andrew from ITB with Monument Valley 2. That's right, it has finally launched on the iPhone and iPad and quickly teleports you to that beautiful, beautiful landscapes and architecture that we saw in the original Monument Valley. I was a huge fan of the original one and I know many, many people were and we're not going to spoil too much in this video, just a quick look at a couple of the early levels and what you can expect in this sequel to one of the best selling App Store games in a long time. The original game came out in 2014 so everyone's been waiting quite a while for this to come out and what's good is it's a completely standalone adventure so you don't have to have played the first one for this story to make sense. A completely new story as Ro works with her daughter to explain kind of the different architecture that you go through in this fabulous fabulous game. Of course it also has great audio, don't want to really play in the audio in here uh, to protect copyright and everything, but it's got some great audio they always tell you, hey make sure you wear headphones for the best experience in this game, and they are true. This is something that I really like to play uh, when I'm just working out, like I like this on the, the treadmill if I'm going for a walk or something, it's just nice to play something simple and relaxing compared to some other games out there. Now this game has no in-app purchases either, which means it is a purchase once, play forever type game. You can get all the levels, the entire story, everything unlocked for that one purchase price and it is a little bit more than many other games out there but eventually it's going to go on sale and it's such just a beautiful game to play. I'm sure most of you cannot resist getting in there and trying some of these puzzles for yourself. If you're unfamiliar with the original title, the game is all about these beautiful landscapes and amazing different kind of visually confusing architecture you'll see here as we trigger this next scene. It's going to come out of the ground, everything just looks so nice and you have this weird kind of you know almost optical illusion type sets where you know obviously if you rotate that in real life it wouldn't necessarily go up and down the way it does when you spin it but that's really how the game works is spin things around move them and get your characters from point a to point b of course this is a very early level so it's not really that complicated to play but it is an example a simplified example of what you'll see further in the game they do a really good job of slowly introducing you to those game elements so they make sense and you start to understand them and how okay i have to go all all the way and actually get off this thing before I can twist it because when you're on any of these moving pieces they don't allow you to move it and of course there are still story elements in here like your characters coming up this little shrine here where they'll bow and offer something and all these lights come out and they collect in and you complete the levels so it's just an overall very very great game to play I know it's silly this is just an iPhone game but I always just love the look and feel of this it's so smooth so nice it looks so pretty I'm sorry I'm using all the same words again and again and again, but if you would like to check it out, you can find a link below in the description. It is a $5 one-time purchase. Let us know what you think in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, it's Andrew for IDV.